A mother from Derby who spent more than two weeks visiting her baby son after he died has been talking about her experience. Laura Elliott's son was in a specially cooled cot so that she could spend time with him before the funeral. She now wants to raise money to get one of these cots for the Royal Derby Hospital to help other grieving parents. A warning that Jane Hescliffe's report contains some sensitive images. Laura and Mark from Chadderton in Derby lost their baby son Cowan to meningococcal septicemia last October. He was 17 days old. Laura had spotted the telltale signs of a rash and immediately took him to the Royal Derby Hospital. He died a few hours later. Here they're cradling him shortly after his death. His world kind of just crashed. They um, sat me down on the chair and they just unhooked him, swung him around and placed him in my arms and then that was it. Beside the room was dead quiet, everyone just scattered and we had a couple of nurses in with us. All I could do was just sit there and apologise to him and not being able to protect him. After Cowan died, they were told about the cuddle cot, a temperature-controlled Moses basket that allows a baby to lie in rest. It gave them precious more time with their son in a controlled environment. So when we'd gone to the funeral home to see Cowan, um, I'd seen the device and the mat, and it was like this little thing that made such a big difference. It was comforting to know that I still had that time with him. I could go in, I could pick him up out of his out of the Moses basket, I could sit, I could cuddle with him, I can could kiss him and sing to him and read to him. I could do basically everything that I would have done at home. The cuddle cot was provided by Central England Co-op. They have ten in the Midlands which they provide on request, free of charge. But seventy percent of hospitals also now have them. We call it a cuddle cot blanket, which is basically a gel pad which is connected by two wires to a cooling unit which is outside of the Moses basket, completely hidden from view. If, in, in, unless you, you actually take the Moses basket off, you can't see it. And then it's connected by that, and it basically cools a gel um, which allows it to stay at a certain body to, and the baby, sorry, to stay at a certain temperature so people can hold, kiss, cuddle, wash, change nappies, play with, take photographs and can do that um, for a certain amount of time. Um, with Laura, who, who we spoke to earlier, her child, um, Cohen, was, was with us for 18 days. The cuddle cots have been welcomed by charities for bereaved parents. I think it's a matter of choice for parents. I think until you're in a situation, you don't actually know how you're going to feel or react and, uh, or what you, you, what you want. So I think it's an individual choice. Not everyone who loses a baby would want to make use of a cuddle cot, but it is an option. Mark said it wasn't really for him. I wasn't too keen on it, but because I just think I'd like to remember him as he was. I went to see him once, but for Laura, I knew it was going to be brilliant, and it was. It's, it did its job for Laura. The couple are now raising money to buy a cuddle cot for the Royal Derby Hospital to help other parents through the trauma of losing a baby. Jane Hesketh, ITV News, Chadderston in Derby. You're watching.